1990 Mini Mayfair. So this is a 998cc manual gearbox Austin Mini. Uh, quite an interesting story on this one. It was bought new uh, by a lady who lived in Jersey. Car stayed with her from brand new in 1990 to 2019, where when she sadly died, she left it to her daughter who lived on mainland UK, uh, just up the road from us, actually about 30, 40 miles up the road. They brought it back to the UK um, in 2019, registered it with a DVLA, so it's now on a G-Reg. We do actually have the original jersey numbers in the boot. Um, so it's one family owner, mother then daughter, one in Jersey, one in the UK. Um, yeah, so if you check the description, we'll detail a bit more about that, everything we know about that. Um, but in this video, we're gonna do the, uh, the bodywork, have a good look around the bodywork. Uh, pop the camera underneath, check all the usual spots on a mini, have a look at the interior and go for a cold engine startup. It was driven to us um, from Northumberland, sort of 30, 40 miles away, something like that. Um, but we have left it to go cold. It was brought down yesterday afternoon. Uh, so it's been here at least 24 hours. It was nice and cold. We'll go for a cold engine start up at the end. Right, starting with the bodywork, we'll start on this front wing. Obviously, usual area on a mini. You've got this seam that runs down the front here. There's no sign of any paint crack in there. There's a little mark just in that one there, but that actually looks like it would clean off, to be fair. The bottom piece is all good. There's no bubbling coming around it or anything like that. Um, so that's all pretty good. Nice and tidy around the actual arch itself. Normally these rivets sort of cause a bit of corrosion, but these ones are good as you can see. If you get your hand in there and behind that onto the metalwork, the metalwork seems nice and solid all the way around. It's on its standard little steel wheels and Mayfair trims with a little silver stripe going down the side back to a Mayfair sticker. Again, there's a little bit of ingrained dirt here and there's a tiny little mark in the paint just there. But there's no corrosion sort of creeping up through there or anything like that, or the bottom of the windscreen. That's good as well all the way around. Seals are nice and soft, they're not dried out or cracked or anything like that. Continuing down this side, I'll go up onto the A pillar here, there's no sign of any stone chips or anything on that. The trim is there and correct. Roof itself is straight, there's no ripples or dents in that. There's the odd little scuff mark, there's a couple of bird poo marks and things like that that a good polish would sort out. But when you get around the boot, you'll see the boot wants a good polish as well anyway, so you might as well do the whole car. Lovely and clear on the front and rear glass on this side. Driver's door, got a tiny little, in fact that's dust, ignore that. No marks to note on the driver's door. Bottom of the door looks nice, there's no corrosion coming through there. And again, you wanna check this seal here, or this seam, sorry, for any corrosion as you can see, apart from a bit of water that we've missed when we've cleaned it, that's all nice and tidy. Obviously on a mini, we wanna look at the sills. A bit of dirt on there, we could do with a good clean off, but they are on the correct open vent sills all the way along, which look to be Nice and tidy on there. Moving further back, rear quarter, that's all nice. You see the subframe mounting points and everything there. And again, could do with a bit of the road dirt taken off it, but looks to be good. There's no ginger pick, sort of peeking through or any corrosion there that I can see. Another good wheel and tire. Coming round on the back. Tail lights on both sides are clean and crack free. Got two little dings in the rear bumper there. Guessing they happened at the same, same time, they're identical. Sort of looking dings. <clears throat> Lower balance looks to be all nice along there. Again, could do with a bit of a clean. Get the camera underneath, have a look at the battery box, all the usual spots. Again, spending its time in Jersey, it should be nice and dry under there. Couple of little bits of pitting in the corner of the bumper there. I did mention earlier on, you can see the paint's dried out a little bit on the back end with a couple of sort of scuffs. It looks like it'll polish back up lovely, but it is worth pointing out. All good on the seal around the back screen, nice and soft. Got a trim finisher on the roof as well, that's there with the adjoining bit. Normally that's gone missing by now. Coming round on the passenger side, and again, if you look down this side, nice and straight all the way down, inside that rear arch. Again, nice and solid. You can see the suspension pickup points. Again, covered in a bit of road grime and dirt, but not bad. Can't see any real corrosion coming through there or anything like that. Let's look at the seal on this side. And again, a good scrub would do it good. Open vent sills, no sign of any corrosion peeking through or anything like that. Again, same story on the seam on this corner and on the top. We do have one little chip from a door ding there. And a very light scratch just there on the door. But again, when you're polishing the car, that should disappear. Can we round up the front? And again, sharp inside that arch, another good wheel and tire. 
all nice on the top of the wing here. And that actually, that's ingrained dirt to be fair. It, it wants a proper detail, this car, polish and clean. That's just dirt and there's no corrosion coming through there or on the bottom of the screen or the top. All good around there. Round on the front, chrome bumper on the front is lovely. There's no dings in that. Actually, I'm lying to you, there's a tiny little ding there. Spot lamps, we've got ring spot lamps, in nice condition. Sort of the satin black ones as well. All the chrome work around the light bezels and the grill itself, nice and tidy. Correct Austin grill. All good. And then up onto the bonnet. No dings or dents. I did notice it looks like it's had this door and this section painted at some point. There is a slight colour discrepancy. It's not as bad outside. Our, our lights are designed to pick these things up. So sort of highlight you can see there's never a slight colour discrepancy across the two panels. Not enough to put you off, but it is there. Moving on to the interior, nice and clean on the door card. Door shuts are all nice. Seat, nice and firm. Good shampoo would sort of and, and dry would, would, would tighten that, that material back up nicely like the backrest already is. Carpet sets lovely and clean. No real wear at all to the steering wheel. Mileage wise, we're showing 44,313 miles, so nice sensible mileage. All good across the dash top. Lovely and clean on that headlining. In the back, I mean, the seats don't look like they've been used hardly at all. Carpet sets lovely and clean. Backs of the seats are good. Come around into the boot. Like I said earlier on, we do have those original dealer supplied jersey plates, which are quite nice to have. Boot cover still there. Battery cover still there and intact as is tool kit and jack and spare wheel. Bit of sticky stuff on the bottom of the floor there, but other than that, really nice and clean. No sign of any corrosion coming through any of the usual spots. No sign of any trap moisture. We did uh, give it a pressure wash when it rocked up this, uh, yesterday. There's no sign of any moisture getting in there or anywhere else. It's always good to know on a mini. Front passenger side, nice and clean on the door card. All good on that passenger seat. These, this material always looks dirty on the camera, but if you get nice and close, you can see it is lovely. Original spec stereo in on the left there. Right this side of the dash, all good. 998cc, so it does have a choke still. Pre-injection car. So you don't have that expensive ECU to go wrong or anything like that. Under here, looks to be all nice and standard to me. Plaques and everything are where you want them to be. Give the original petrol stamp and everything's there. And we do still have the guard there on the front and the sound deadening on the bulkhead. Original stickers on the uh, air cleaner, which is a nice touch. It's not dropping any fluid or anything on the floor. Like I say, it was driven to us 30 or 40 miles away. I've had it down the road and back. It's, the gearbox feels good. There's no crunching or anything like that. Start on the button, give it a little bit of choke. Not too much because it's relatively warm today. Starts up on the button. Standard little Mini Mayfair rack from the back end. And ticking over lovely and smooth around the front. And that's at about three quarter choke. So there you have it. Mini Mayfair, one family owner from new, 44,000 miles. Check the description, we'll give you all the information about its history and all that sort of stuff. Any more questions, please get in touch. Thank you.